In example three, we're going to write an equation of an ellipse that has a center of 1, 1, a major axis of length 4, and one of the endpoints of the minor axis is 1, 2. Just like before, I would recommend that you graph this. It helps with the visuals. So I'm going to go ahead and graph my center, which is at 1, 1. And then I'm going to go ahead and graph the endpoint of my minor axis. So I'm going to label this as C. The <clears throat> endpoint of my minor axis is the point 1, 2, which is right here. So this is minor. So if this is the endpoint of my minor axis right here, and this is my center, the distance from the center to the endpoint of the minor axis, this length right here is our B value. So this length from here to here, that's our B value. If we had, for some reason, the center and an endpoint of the major axis, that would be our A value in between here. So from our, C, from our center to our minor axis endpoint, that is our length of B. So if I look at the distance between my center and my minor axis, that's a distance of 1, which indicates to me that our B value is equal to 1. Now I also know that my major axis has a length of 4, and then my major axis has the equation that 2A, or my major axis, the formula is 2A. So then I know 2A is equal to 4. So this is a formula for the major axis, and this is what the major axis is equal to, which tells us that A is equal to 2. And then I know my center is 1, 1. So my center gives me my H and my K, H being the first one, K being the second one. So I also know that my H value is 1 and my K value is 1. Now I have all the information I need to write my equation. I have H, I have K, I have A, and I have B. Next thing I need to do is I need to figure out which equation I'm plugging this into. What we want to notice on here is that our minor axis is vertical and our major axis is the horizontal axis. So if we go back and look at our equations up on the top, our minor axis was our vertical and our major axis was our vertical. Our major axis was horizontal, again, and our minor axis was vertical. So that tells us that we are dealing with this first equation, major axis being horizontal and minor being vertical. And again, I, I found that out by just looking at the picture after I plotted those points. So I know the bigger the A value is going to go under my X's this time instead of my Y's. So going back to our problem, we can write our answer. And we know that we have X minus H, H being 1, squared, plus Y minus our K value, which is 1, squared. And since my axis, my major axis is horizontal, my a value is going to go under my x, and I'm going to square that to make it 4. And my b squared is going to go underneath my y's. 1 squared is just 1, and this is all set equal to 1. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, we can move on to example 4.